So, so beyond the security issues, which obviously I personally care about, um, I think access, um, you know, deploying um, a robust internet access to, um, to developing countries, I think that's extremely important. Um, we have big segments of the world that have very good connectivity, and we have a lot of segments of the population that are very underserved. And if we believe in the internet as being um, you know, a driver for economic growth, well, we have to have access. So I think that is really critical. Another piece that's critical is that the internet as it developed, partly because it was developed in the United States mostly uh, were started there, but also because a lot of the early adopters were uh, people who, for whom English would be their second language. Um, for many years, really, English was the language of the internet. That had actually some positives, which is that no matter where you were in the world, you could all con exchange ideas. Um, but not everyone has English as, as, their, as, as a strong language. And so um, moving into a world where the internet is much more inclusive of other, other languages, this is something that we've slowly been working on over the last 20 years. But I see that accelerating. And I think that's important that um, while there are some pieces that are lost by fragmenting the internet in terms of languages, there's an awful lot of benefits that can only come in some countries if you don't have to also have English to be able to do that. 